Hey, what's up guys? So this box here I've received from my friends at Armada Deals. This is a spin bike. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of fitness equipment in this tent in my house and I like to do a lot of training, but I've always wanted to get like an exercise machine that I can put somewhere. And they've sent me this exercise bike that I'm gonna review for you guys today. Now this comes in at 160 pounds, which is an absolute bargain, but I'll leave a discount code in the description below of where you can get 10% off as well for everyone watching this for the next six months. So that is an awesome deal. Make sure you check that out. Now I'm gonna unbox this and it probably will take me some time to set it up, but I'm gonna showcase you everything once it's complete and then run through the specifications, the digital display, and all of the type of things that you can do with this bike and the benefits that it will bring to you. So let me go ahead and do that and uh, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so I've just taken everything out of, out of the box. Now, if we take a look down here, let me show you, there's not a massive amount of pieces that come with it, but if you take a look, I actually really like that fact that they've given a water bottle as well, so that's convenient. The first thing that stood out was, was these awesome red and black stickers that I'll be putting on the side of the spin bike. So you've got the bike there, you've got the handles, the feet, you've got the seat as well, and the actual pedals that you would put your feet in. So gladly there's not like a million screws, which you know I was a bit skeptical about, but it feels like it's very straightforward to set up. So hopefully I can get this done in about half an hour, but I'll let you guys know once I finish how long it took. Now, just to quickly show you the user guide, if you take a little bit of a closer look here, you can see these are all the pieces that come inside the box that I've got on the floor here. So there's not a massive amount, but the main thing I'm looking at is how long it might take to construct. And I can see that there's only seven steps. So step seven, everything is completed and I'm ready to go. So hopefully that will indicate that it may take, you know, around 30 minutes. So looking forward to setting it up, getting it started and giving you guys a review on how it performs. All right guys, so the bike is now finished and it took me about 35 minutes and that's with the help of two people, but I definitely recommend you have two people when you're setting this up. It's pretty straightforward. The instructions were easy to follow. There wasn't a whole lot of parts. The last step is to use some of these stickers and put it on the frames on the side of the bikes. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll give it a test. Okay guys, the bike is now, now finished. I've managed to set up everything that I needed to. I even put the cool stickers on there. Now this was done in about 35 minutes, but it took two people to do it. So if you are gonna assemble this, I do recommend getting two people to put it together. It makes your life a lot easier. Now the seven step process, it was very simple. Let me quickly show you what I did to do that. So step number one, it was fairly easy. The first thing I had to do is just put the feet there. So with the wheels on it, it's all connected, just screw it on, and then you can move the bike around quite easily. Second step is just to connect the back feet and put the screws on there, and that was very easy. Step number three is to just screw the pedals into there. So you have the, the cage pedal there on the, both the left and the right, fairly quick and easy. Step number four, I just had to connect the seat so it's adjustable to move backwards and forwards and also in height. Step number five, put the handlebars on. Also very easy just to put some few screws in and it's there. Step number six was to connect the LCD display and connect the wires at the back of that. And step seven was to finally put on the phone mount, which is just pushing it in and connecting it to the handlebars. So that was very easy. So now what I'm gonna do is jump onto the bike and give you a quick test of the performance. Now, one thing to note is this does come with something called a quiet glide flywheel. So that is ultra silent. So when you're maybe setting this up indoors or even in your garden in your house, you're not gonna disturb anyone like your neighbors or people in your household if they're watching TV or anything like that. So try to listen out how loud this is. Can you hear that? No, you can't. That's how quiet it is. Now, of course, if you do increase the resistance here from the middle, you'll start to hear a little bit more of the wheel. But even then, it's very quiet, and I'm quite impressed with that. And the seat is very comfortable as well. The fact that you can adjust the handlebars to go up and down using a little knob at the back, and then the back knob here for the seat adjustment as well, is to get the perfect positioning no matter what your height. Then you also have a mount here for your phone. So what I'm gonna do is just slot my phone in there. 
there you go. So if you wanted to watch like a, a TV show or put some music on or whatever you want, you can do that while you work out, it's very convenient. The last thing I want to show you is about this LCD display. Now there's a few options here. Scan is basically scanning through all of the other options and they're cycling every three seconds. Time, obviously that's uh, in seconds and minutes on how long you're performing. SPD is the speed, so that shows you in kilometers per hour how fast you are going. Distance is how fast you've traveled in kilometers. Calories, that's self-explanatory. Audio is the odometer, and this basically tells you the total distance you've traveled on this bike from the time you've put the two AAA batteries into this LCD display. And finally, pulse, if we switch to pulse, is to give you an estimation of your heart rate. So you just hold it down for five to 10 seconds, and there you go, heart rate's at 72, 69. So it does give you a rough average there, even though it does change, and that's very convenient. Okay guys, so I'm very impressed with this purchase. I'm gonna use this as my cardio machine in my back garden here, and it is 160 pounds. I've got a 10% discount code for you guys to get it off in the next six months from the time I've published this video. So do check it out, and if there's anything else you guys wanna know, then uh, do drop a comment below. Otherwise, there's some really cool tech gadgets that you can check out on Armada Deals website. All the links in the description down below as well. Now make sure you hit subscribe if you're into fitness and you really like tech gadgets that really help you with your workouts, then I'm gonna do a lot more of those in the near future. So make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.